Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Apollonia and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video. A couple weeks ago I tested out the Dyson Kara hair straightener for the first time and if you haven't seen that video I will leave it for you in the description box. So today I'm going to be testing out the Dyson Corral against my Bioionic One Pass hair straightener. I've had my Bioionic for a few years now and I purchased it from Bed Bath & Beyond for a little bit over $100. So today I'm going to be answering the question for you guys and for myself. Is the Dyson Corral better than a regular hair straightener? Is it worth the $500 price point? Up until this point, I've been using my Bioionic and it does a great job at straightening my hair, reducing frizz, and making my hair look shiny and healthy. So some of the features of the Bioionic hair straightener is that it has patented silicone speed strips in the plates and those are supposed to help reduce the styling time. It also has movable iron plates that emit natural negative ions and far infrared energy that break down water clusters on the air surface into smaller molecules that penetrate deeper and hydrate the hair, removing frizz and creating a healthier, shinier look. I have already shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair, and as you can see, my hair is pre-stretched, so it's ready for styling. So today I'm going to be starting with my Bioionic hair straightener and I already have heat protectant in my hair. I'll be styling at 360 degrees because the Dyson Corral only has three heat settings and the closest one would be 365. So I just want you to take a look at my hair before it's straightened. Okay, and now we're going to begin. Okay, so I just finished straightening my hair with the Bioionic. It took me about 11 minutes to straighten this entire half of my head. And I really tried to stay true to what the device says it can do and only used one pass. I used one pass for the majority of my hair and then I went back and touched up the roots of my hair just because I couldn't get really close by using the brush. So 
So this is what my hair looks like only using one pass with the Bio Ionic Straightener. It's actually really pin straight. So now I'm going to be straightening the second half of my hair with the Dyson Corral Hair Straightener. Some of the features that make the Dyson Corral unique is that it has flexing manganese copper alloy plates. And these special plates shape and gather the hair allowing you to use less heat for styling. Dyson states that this device is supposed to reduce frizz, flyaways, and only produce half of the damage. The Dyson Corral also has a cordless feature which you can use up to 30 minutes on a full charge. As I mentioned before, I'm going to use the device on 365 degrees since it only has three heat settings and I want to be as close as possible to what I used on the Bioionic. So I just want to give you another look at what my hair looks like before I straighten it. Okay, so I have just finished straightening the second half of my hair with the Dyson Corral. These are the results. So it took me 10 minutes and 38 seconds to straighten my hair with the Dyson Corral. It took me a little bit over 11 minutes to straighten my hair with the Bioionic. I used one pass for both sections and then I followed up by touching up my roots. As far as shine, I believe they're both evenly matched. They both feel really light and fluffy and they did a pretty good job at straightening my hair at only 360 degrees. This side has maybe just a little bit more frizz compared to the Dyson side. So both of the devices give me a pretty decent result considering that it's high humidity here in New York. The Dyson side took me a little bit over 10 minutes to complete. The Bioionic side took me a little bit over 11 minutes to complete. So time-wise, they are equally matched, not that much of a difference. Also, frizz factor right now, they look about the same. They're both equally shiny. My hair feels light on both sides. My ends need to be trimmed, but between both sides, they don't feel dry or burnt. So to answer the question, is the Dyson Corral better than a regular flat iron, which would be my Bioionic? And honestly, I would have to say 
not really from what I'm seeing right now it's equally matched so if I'm getting a result from a $500 flat iron that is pretty much equal to my $100 bioionic I would have to say that it's not really worth the price point now if you have the money for it of course it's something cool to have you have the cordless feature and it's a nice splurge but honestly what I'm getting is results that are pretty much the same as what I'm getting from my bioionic Alright guys, so that is all that I'm doing for today. You let me know in the comments if you think that the Dyson Corral is worth the $500 price point or if it is not compared to a regular flat iron. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in today. I would love it if you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye!